This tutorial is based off a written tutorial that I have on my website. I'll post a link in the description below for you to check out. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Hey everyone. So this is going to be an introduction to a new tutorial we're going to be working on. And right now I'm going to show you the materials that we'll be using. And we're going to start off with a 6B pencil. A mechanical pencil. This is a HB 0.5 and this is a color shaper and we're going to be using this to blend and the tip is made out of a silicone so it's perfect for blending pencil. This is a 5H pencil. This is a stylus and for this stylus I, I used a pen with no ink so I just I just got rid of the ink but please 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 make sure that there's absolutely no more ink left in the pencil in the pen sorry and this is a 2h pencil there's an hb carpet carpenter's pencil and the reason i like using this pencil is because it, the tip is flat so it makes it perfect to to highlight the indentations stylus this is a thinner stylus which is just a needle that i insert it into a mechanical pencil and then if you're going to be using this make sure that the, that you grind down the tip of it because or else if it's too sharp it's going to rip the paper and this is a chamois towel and I use this to blend it's it's really nice for blending pencil it's also good for covering large areas and this is a water soluble graphite paper, uh, pencil, graphite stick. And this is a 6B. I'll put all the, I'll put some links in the description so you can find find a place where you can, where you can get them. And for the paper, I'll be using a five five by seven sheet of paper. So this is what we'll be using. Okay, you guys, so let's get started. So we're going to start off by making a rough outline. And this rough outline is going to be used to uh, as a guide. And we're going to be separating the drawing into different sections. So each section is going to represent uh, a different layer. Of course, your outline might not look the same as mine, so... So don't worry about that. We're going to be concentrated basically on the on how to, how to draw a lion's mane because a lion's mane, the hair is a bit different than any other hair, other animals' hair. So I use a different technique. It's similar, just a slight difference. So we'll just make a rough outline and then we'll we'll move from there. Like I said, we're going to be separating this into different sections. Okay, so we're going to have two sec three sections. We're going to have this section down here. I'll just number, I'll just put a one here. And this will be number two. And this will be number three. And what this means is that layer number one is going to be the layer, the most, the layer that uh, that's at the bottom. Layer number two is going to be the middle layer, which is which is going to be overlapping layer number one. And then la layer number three is going to be the hair that's above ev all the other layers. And whenever I draw, I I start from the layer that's the lowest layer. And it helps with the technique that. That we'll be using so we're gonna we're gonna start working from this section on here and then we'll move this one and that one once I have the basic outline what I like to add is what I called guidelines and these guidelines are basically 
it shows me the the, the flow of hair so it's just a rough rough guides so basically I just draw lines going in the direction that will be that the hair is growing So it's almost in a, in a slight angle. Like in this one. And then we'll go to a second layer. This layer, it's a bit, it curves a bit. So it starts here and then it curves down. last layer So now we have the guidelines. We can go in and just darken the, the layers. So we know, so that we, now we have one, two, and three. See, the, the main difference between a lion's mane, the hair on the lion's mane and other hairs, is that it's, it's curly. So it's not straight, it curls a bit. So it starts off straight, and then it starts to curl out. The tip, it curls, it's wavy. And that's what, we'll, that's, that's what we're gonna be following. For this, what we're going to be using is we're going to start off by using this this stylus, which is the needle. And we're going to start with that same motion that, that I mentioned at the beginning. Okay, everyone, so thanks for watching, and we'll start uh, the indentation on the next video.